action. <clears throat> On this day, we replaced the government with a new way to govern the people of this great nation. We must put in the work and the hours so that we can represent the people appropriately. <laughs> this is unfair! Let me in! Let me in! So tell me about yourself. My name is Elizabeth Stone, and I think it's unfair that I can't go in there with the men. They say I can't go in there because I'm not a white land-owning man. Yeah, it's citizens only. So, any ideas? Keep the Articles of Confederation and just amend it. Does thou not know the flaws of the previous rule, Saddle Goose? Do you want to try thee? Delegates, delegates, relax. I'm not trying to say the articles were bad, but they weren't where they needed to be. I propose a new plan, the Virginia Plan. There's nothing wrong with the articles. Don't overreact. Weak central government. No court system. Lack of foreign and interstate regulation. We then had syphilis. Whoa! Yeah, it's true. So, how do you think you got it? Honestly, I cheated on my wife a couple times. Could be it. We need something new, something to unite the people, something to prove that we as Americans are all equal. Agreed. We can't be equal until we have equal representation in Congress. Well, I think I'm in the bigger state should get representation. God. Okay, hear me out. All states get representation in Congress, but the larger states get more people in Congress. That seems fair. So, we have to come to a compromise. All states get the representation in Congress, regardless of the population. But states with more people get more representatives. Correct. So that is settled. Now, James, you mentioned something about the Virginia plan. Yes, yes. Basically, not to get in the whole nitty gritty of the thing, but there's three branches, the legislative, the judicial, and the executive. I disagree. What will be in place to balance the powers between the branches? For once, I agree with Mr. Franklin here. One checks up on the other, and the other checks up on that one, and the other checks up on that one. Made a lot more sense in my head. So what roles do these branches play? It's all for a federal government. See, the legislative branch makes laws, the executive branch enforces them, and the judicial branch decides the meaning of these laws. Okay, I see. Well, what if the legislative branch makes a law the judicial branch doesn't like? That's why the branches check up on each other, so that doesn't happen. Okay, I see what you're saying. They check up on each other to create balance. We should call it check and balances. Okay, so do we all agree on this? I do. Okay, so now that we have an idea how to run this new government, we need to put it in ink. What should we call it? I have an idea for it. We can call it the proclamation of the government. We now know not all your ideas are good. Then what do you got? We can call it the Pennsylvania contract. What about the United States Charter? What about the U.S. Constitution? I like it. Let's leave it up to a vote. For all in favor to the U.S. Constitution, raise your hand. All right, it's settled. Now, delegates, let's continue to better this country. Yeah. <laughs> 